there is a terrible trend going on right now where search engines are grabbing every bit of data on everything you're doing and all of these companies are coming together to share all their bits of information and they're collecting so much information on you that I promise you they know more personal things about you than your own spouse would know, than your own mother probably knows. And why this is dangerous is because in the wrong hands, this could be used for numerous negative, controversial tactics to either hold information against you, hackers to release information on you, using information to steal things about you. They could not only impact you, but your kids, your family, and the people that you love because... As more of this information gets stored and shared between all of these companies and governments and everything else, there will be nothing left private. And privacy is a huge part of freedom. But I don't want to go into all of that down the rabbit's hole. This is going to be a quick video because I'm going to tell you right now, stop using the search engines that you're using, Google, Yahoo, Bing, and start using DuckDuckGo. Why DuckDuckGo? simply because they are not collecting your information at all and they don't have to how these giant companies make their money how they make all of that cash to build those gigantic server farms and everything else is through advertising so initially you think well there's nothing negative about that and there's not what's wrong with advertising we've been advertised to death in america we see it all day long. We can't drive in our cars without advertising on the radio, advertising on billboards, advertising in magazines, advertising in everything. We're so advertised to our brains are completely just overwhelmed with the idea that we have to keep consuming. We have to keep buying. But that's a whole other discussion. The problem comes when now as a consumer, you're taking my information for simply utilizing your service here as a search engine. And you're taking all of that information, you're starting to collect a personal profile on me. So now you know if I have to look for anti-itch cream for my ass. You know if I have a pimple problem. You know if I'm getting a divorce. You know if I'm having a baby. Because those are things that you're going to start searching for in your search engine. You know if I'm looking at a house, if I'm dealing with financial issues. You know all of this. So imagine now... A situation just as a random example if you're thinking oh I don't care I don't do anything wrong so I don't care who knows anything about me you know that classic stupid argument the government tries to shove down your throat well what if employers or insurers or other people start acquiring or buying that data profile on you it could happen you think it can't so there is no reason why I have to give up all of my personal information so that a website can let me search on the free internet. And DuckDuckGo realizes that. But do you think they don't want to make money? Of course they do. You know how they make money? They just advertise to you based on your search. They don't store information on you. They don't try to say, well, this is Das Geek, and this is what he looked for, and blah, 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 and let's store it in this big database. They don't. If I search for cars right now, I may see an advertisement for a car. That's fair. They get some money. I get to see an advertisement for a car. Maybe it's something I'll use. Maybe it won't. When that session's over, our deal is over. You don't keep collecting info on me. You don't go out there and sell it to other people. You don't build this profile that could put my family and everybody else at risk. And frankly, no matter how good intention, how much I love companies like Google and everything else, I don't think they're negative intentions out there. They're building something that, in my opinion, is disastrous. And there's no reason for it. They can make plenty of money not running targeted ads. You do not have to target ads and build profiles on people to make money through advertising. DuckDuckGo is a perfect example of that. So I know Google has kind of taken over the market. Even when you think about internet, I need to go Google that. You know, It's just completely enwrapped in our minds. And it's actually hard. It was hard for me to get out of the habit of typing Google into my browser every single time. But you can go through your settings and change it. So that, for instance, in Opera, which you know is the recommended browser, right now I have it set so that it's my startup page. One of the things I love about DuckDuckGo is the ease of use. It's very clean, just like Google is. You don't have all those 
new stories and everything inundating all of your search feed because I just want to search. I don't want to uh, see all kinds of different things popping and flipping and moving and blinking and all that crap. Additionally, you, so you could change the themes. You could go into your advanced settings. You could change all kinds of things. You can even do a cloud save with a passphrase. So it's anonymous. You just put that passphrase in and it moves just those settings over. It's not saving, doesn't move your searches because it doesn't capture any of that. So it couldn't. So it doesn't need usernames and sign-ons and all that crap. But you could just put a pat, pat, uh, catchphrase like, I love Das Geek, and that would be a good one to start using, by the way. And, and when you log on to your phone or whatever, you could type in that passphrase and it's going to sync those settings for you. But you could see some of the things you can change. You could, of course, make it safe search on uh, if you don't want the potential, if you have kids or whatever, and don't want any potential for... Uh, nudity or things to be seen. You can have auto loads, direction sources, blah, blah, blah. You've got your themes and it shows you the six different themes here. You can choose from appearance, you can change font size, colors, and of course your privacy. And additionally, this is available for your phone. On the iPhone, as an example, I can either set it on my Opera app, or as you can see here, there is a DuckDuckGo app and I can search and I also kind of get the news and everything else just like you would get from Google News, which is something that I used to use a lot. Now I use the Duck, 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 Go News uh, feed so that I am not then telling Google exactly what news stories I'm interested in. And again, I don't think these companies are evil. I don't think they're bad. I don't think they have ill intentions yet. It's just what all of that collected data can mean. And when there's a company like DuckDuckGo, which by the way, search engine is very much the algorithms on par with Google and I have found no situations in many comparisons that I've done for searches where DuckDuckGo did not have the exact same results that Google had and that when you compare something like Yahoo or Bing was not the case they always had completely different sources and Google's was always more accurate and DuckDuckGo it is on point it is on fire I'm telling you so if I do DOS Geek YouTube channel. Look at the top. It's got all of my videos that automatically pops up. Very convenient. Again, I'm using the black theme. If you want the white theme or you want a different colored theme, you could change all of that. So if you don't like these colors, don't let that sway you from the application itself. You could set it any way you want. And so you can see it right away. It gives me the exact results I want. I can look at images. I can look at just the web. I've got all of those options. We don't track you. And you can go into some of their information about DuckDuckGo here. So take back your privacy. By the way, DuckDuckGo is not some small little company anymore doing a minimal amount of searches. This thing has grown exponentially. They are growing so fast, and rightfully so. They deserve to grow fast because they're doing things the right way. You don't need to track people to make money off of advertising. Um, so get involved to talk about here, share this, talk about DuckDuckGo. I'm doing my part right now, sharing it with the community. Hopefully you guys already know about DuckDuckGo, but if you don't, get out there, change your browser from all the others into DuckDuckGo until the others get the message that our privacy matters, it's important, and stop taking all of our information and building all these profiles on us because it's damn well dangerous. Uh, they're all over the news. Forbes, everybody has done articles on these guys. All the major tech sites, Lifehacker, one of my favorites in the world, has done multiple reviews on Lifehacker or on DuckDuckGo and talked about how great they are uh, as one of the top browsers outside of using, uh, you know, the core Bing, Google's, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to take your privacy back, if you're looking for something new, you got all the apps on Windows and Android that you can, or uh, Apple and Android that you can use. You can set all of your browsers within Opera or whatever uh, browser that you're uh, utilizing at the time to DuckDuckGo. And you can stop having all these ads so that when you're searching Amazon or something like that, and all of a sudden you go to another site and the ads for what you were looking at at Amazon are there. It's kind of creepy, that stalking mentality. In any other realm, we'd be like, this is creeping me out. But somehow we've accepted this on the internet. You can stop all that junk. Uh, obviously, utilizing the VPN within VPN proxy within Opera, which I have enabled, as you can see, using DuckDuckGo, using a VPN on your computer, having antivirus firewall software, those things right there will keep you pretty safe. And then, of course, because everything in these services, like the free email accounts and stuff, can be hacked, utilize ProtonMail for your email. 
And now you're starting to take yourself off of this data gathering whoredom that's that's uh, taken over the country. And we've just allowed for people to make money off us for free, which isn't fair. If they want to make money off of our profiles and you don't care about that, then they should damn well be paying you. And they're not. So until then, go out there, switch to DuckDuckGo, give it a try. I think you're going to love it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below if you've tried DuckDuckGo, if you've made the switch or you're using something else, let me know and we'll talk about it. And I'll definitely take a look. Continue to fill your brains and I will talk to you soon. Don't get this far. Don't get the video.